Hello everyone, if you do not know who I am, my name is Paradox Clinton, but you don't call me Paradoxy, and welcome to Misere. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a, um, a an RPG maker horror game based off of another RPG maker horror game called Yume Nikki. If you've never played Yume Nikki, which is Japanese for Dream Diary, I highly recommend you go play it. It's one of those weird games where you're not sure if it ever has an end, and it's just full of weird symbology and stuff, but it's a really fun game to play. It, it just gets weird. And this is a, a fan game based off of that. So let's begin. I can't remember the last time I saw another human being. Or actually, I can. The real problem is, I can't remember the last time I saw a real human being. Anyways, I guess I should start by introducing myself. So my name... Actually, let's skip that. I'm the sole citizen of this little station. The station's name would be Harmony. Harmony. Quite an ironic name considering the state of its single occupant. I have been living here, somewhere near the center of the galaxy, for 12 years now. To be honest, I remember that I actually liked being here at first, all alone. It felt adventurous. I was the only living being on a whole planet after all. But now? Not so much. I have found that sleeping has become my one and only enjoyable pastime, so I sleep, and sleep, and then sleep some more. Occasionally I make a few rounds and check instruments, then I sleep. In my dreams I do all manners of things. I travel the galaxy, I meet people, I explore planets, I encounter aliens. In short, I do whatever I damn please. Or at least I used to. Recently, my dreams have become increasingly hard to control. Is this a sign of my deteriorating mental health? Hmm. Okay. Oh, so that must be us. Must have dozed off. Hmm. Should I do some work? Okay, so we're on a space station. All by ourselves. And, oh, I turn on a light and drawers, and um, I got another light, and uh, we a body scanner, it basically scans me for diseases and damage, and not right now, I'm pretty sure we're fine right now, an abstract painting, I like the colors, so we're on this space station, all alone, no one to keep us company, what is this, is it like a, what is this floofy thing? I don't know what that floofy thing is. A notebook. Sometimes I write down my dreams or good ideas in it so I don't forget them. Okay. So let's go exploring for a bit, because I don't want to go to sleep just yet. I still have various food rations here. I should probably fix this sometime later. A small collection of books about dreams I have collected. A general gene theory. About dreaming, dreams are successions of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that occur involuntarily in the mind. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood. Dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious. They range from normal and ordinary to overtly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming where the dreamer is self-aware. The most common emotion experienced in dreams is anxiety. Other emotions include abandonment, anger, fear, joy, happiness, etc. Negative emotions are much more common than positive ones. While the content of most dreams is dreamt only once, many people experience recurring dreams. That is, the same dream narrative or dreamscape is experienced over different occasions of sleep. It is common for people to feel their dreams are predicting subsequent life events. The most faceted nature of dreams makes it easy to find connections between dream content and real events. That's interesting. Uh, lucid dreams. Lucid dreaming. A lucid dream is any dream in which one is aware that one is dreaming. 
In a lucid dream, the dreamer may be able to exert some degree of control over their participation with the dream, or be able to manipulate their imaginary experiences in the dream environment. Time perception while counting during a lucid dream is about the same as during waking. While dream control and dream awareness are correlated, neither requires the other. During most dreams, sleepers are not aware that they are dreaming. The reason for this has not been determined and does not appear to have an obvious answer. Hmm. Uh, nightmares. A nightmare is an unpleasant dream that causes strong negative emotional response from the mind. Sufferers usually awaken in a state of distress and may be unable to return to sleep for a prolonged period of time. One definition of nightmare is a dream which causes one to wake up in the middle of sleep cycle and experience fear. This type of event occurs on average once per month. Nightmare disorder, also known as dream anxiety disorder, is a sleep disorder characterized by frequent nightmares. Though nightmares occur within many people, those with nightmare disorder experience some with a greater frequency. The victim is often awakened by these threatening and frightening dreams and can often vividly remember their experience. Nightmares can be caused by extreme stress or anxiety if no other mental disorder is discovered. Hmm. Okay, so we got some background information about dreams. And dreams are important to a uh, human as, uh, um, oh, in here, all the necessary components for the air purification, ventilation in the living quarters. There are mostly no problems here. I think a machine, I had a machine break only once in all my time here. Luckily, there are instructions for fixing all the stuff in here. But yeah, um, dreams are important. If you, if you played Yumi Nikki, which is again, Japanese for dream diary, dreams are like the, the central thing about all of it. What's this? Why is there a bed in here, too? Uh, yeah. Doesn't work. So, yeah. Um, th dreaming and dreams, uh, that's all human icky, and the fan games surrounding it usually involve. It's just, it, because it's a very interesting subject if you think about it, you know, like, the human unconscious is very much unknown. A warning sign space is kind of dangerous after all. Is this the outside? Oh, I can open that. Okay. So, where are we going, then? Woo! Uh, the way is docking bit. I see no reason to go there. Not like there's a ship there. I could go out in a suit, but I'd rather not unless I have a reason to. Okay. So, that's the way outside to the docking bay. Let's keep that in mind for later, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be important. So, we've explored everything, so let's go and, uh, I guess, look at these books. No, I can't look at the books. Assorted books, I've read them all, even the manuals. It's the opposite of a telescope, it's a microscope. Alright, so I guess we go to bed? I can't sleep with the lights on. Three two, one. Oh, so the, the main character is putting themselves in a, a lucid state of dreaming by counting. Whoa, hello. I just clicked on the thing. So yeah, um, this is pretty much what Yume Nikki's like as well. It's, it's just the wandering in the dreamscapes. That's a pile of corpses. That's that's lovely. Pile of corpses. Um, but in Yumi Nikki, you walked around and you could get like powers and stuff to make walking around easier. Like there was like one power you could get where you had like a, a motorcycle. Hmm. Oh, so okay, so we're back here. Uh, so each of these little orbs, this is like our, our hub world. Uh, each of these little orbs represents a um, a world we can go to. And there's usually like some sort of puzzle to solve, but it's really abstract and vague. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a, an art gallery. Are those carrots? Those are carrots. Oh, that's the way to go back. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, I was looking at this one. Okay. Let's go back to the to the gallery and see what we can discover. Because I'm um, pretty sure this might be a puzzle we can actually solve right off the bat. 
A golden statue depicting a buck. I'm pretty sure that's a ram, but okay. Strings of fate. March of the vegetables. Bacteria. Waterway. I have to admit, I like the way this room is really laid out. Whoa, what the? What is that? It's, what are you? What are you? Oh, there's more of them now. It's like spores. They don't hurt me or anything, so I guess, I guess they're alright. Uh, some more paintings. Pollution. Cure. Red rocks. Serenity. A plant. It's weird. I don't know what those things are, and they're starting to freak me out. Because I don't know if they're, like, going to attack me or something. Oh, this is interesting. A metal frame with a rather peculiar design. There's a slot for a key, but I don't have the correct key. Okay, so we need to find a key. We now have an objective. We need to find a key. And, although admittedly, I don't know where this key would be. Whether it's in another part of the dream, or if it's in here somewhere. I don't know. I, I don't know. What is this? Wrath. Mm. That's not ominous, is it? Hmm. Some chairs. A comfortable looking chair. I have no time to be sitting around doing nothing, though. Some more paintings down here. What are you? It's making hurt, hurt noises, but that's about it. Dawning midday. Looks like a giant potato. The face. Mr. Books. Angry Crab. Roses aren't red. It feels like the painting is sucking me in. Look closer. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Hello. It's an open page with a short text. The title of the te this text reads, The Devil is Just a H Tired Human. Humanity is ugly. This is the conclusion I have come to after nearly 500 years of spending time in the presence of people. They only ever think about themselves. Every single action taken by any individual I have ever met have been for their own gain. Some people try harder to hide this fact. They give to charity. They help old ladies across the street. All sorts of things. In the end, this is all smoke and mirrors. The only reason they do this is to make themselves feel a little better. The ones who don't even try to hide their ugliness are at least honest about it. That doesn't make me any happier, though. These people are the thieves, the murderers, and way too often the ones in power. I'm so tired. Perhaps I should make some sort of change, but how? Everywhere I go, I see more of these filthy creatures. Is this the reason I was born? To arrive at this conclusion? Something has to change, and soon. Interesting. Little walk up along the boulevard. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what that stuff is below us. It looks like like moon rocks, and this looks like a church. I do a little dance. Do I, I do a little dance. Do you like my little dance? It's a theater, not a church. 
Those stained glass windows fooled me. Are you another monster that's not going to hurt me? No, you are indeed interesting. That's a light. I thought it was like a, a hole in the, in the wall. It is kind of nice wallpaper, though. I, I like that. Ooh, there's a room over here. Pardon me, sir. I'd like to get inside this room, please. Hi. Hello. Who might you be? God, those dead eyes are creeping me out. Can I... Okay, I can't leave. <laughs> so they're like, why can't I leave? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. No title. Now the air is like filled with this green dust. Don't look. A turtle crab thing. Oh, that's this is interesting. That's the thing about the Yumineki and all the fan games it spawned. It's it's just it doesn't make any sense. It seems one little piggy went to market. One little piggy stayed home. One little piggy had roast beef, and then there was none. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So let's let's go back to the theater then. Hello, Mr. Turtle Crab. Guardians. No problems. Hello, Mr. Frog. Work <laughs> It's an indentation in the shape of a cross. Alright, well I think I'm going to end this episode here. I might do some more on this if you guys are interested in doing it. If you are, if you do like this episode so far, please leave a like, comment, that sort of thing. And to let me know that this is what you guys want. Because, you know, I would like to do videos that you guys would like to see. And also videos I would enjoy. So in the meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next video. So have fun, good game, and bye me!